and welcome back to Adaptive Parent Project. My name is Alisa and today I wanted to go over adaptive tips for doing laundry when you have a physical disability or use a wheelchair. So the first tip I want to give you guys is having a structured basket uh, that you can use on your lap that's still uh, flexible but not too flimsy. This is the laundry bag that I keep in Nolan's room and it's just very um, thin and flexible. So it doesn't really work as well for me when I'm taking laundry in and out of the washer and dryer because when I clip it to my seatbelt, which is another big one of my tips, it just kind of flops all over the place. Whereas this uh, bigger cotton woven basket that I got off of Amazon is large and structured so it doesn't just slide off my lap. So what I do is I transfer a Nolan's laundry from his laundry bag to this laundry bag and so I'm going to transfer the rest of this in here just like so. Just like that. I'm going to move this out of my way and then see if I keep the structured laundry basket. The big thing if you can see here, it might be hard to see in the video, but I have it uh, clipped into my seatbelt so that it can't just slide off my lap. So I have it clipped in like this. And then in my house, the washer and dryer are in the garage. So I head down my ramp and to my washer and dryer. Follow me. Sometimes clothes fall out, but if they do, that's okay. Um, it can be a struggle, especially if you don't have a service dog. I'm fortunate enough that I have Duffy, so he's able to pick up clothes that drop for me, or I use a grabber if for some reason he's not with me, but follow me to the garage. So I have a 10 foot ramp in this garage so that it's not as steep for me to push up and down. The general rule is uh, one inch of, for every one inch of height, you use one foot of ramp. But for me, since I have a weak core, I choose longer ramps. So even though this is only about six foot, uh, six inches of rise in to the house, I use a 10 foot ramp because it makes it easier. So I was fortunate this time that I didn't drop anything. So all I do from here is I go right up to my front loading washer and dryer and I also have it um, positioned so that the doors open opposite of each other so that when I'm switching stuff from the washer and dryer I can just open both doors and switch from one machine to the other very easily. So now from here I just throw all of the clothes in. And something that was more expensive for me that I chose, but very necessary, was getting pedestals for the washer and dryer. So they're at my height. So I have pedestals that have storage, so I'm able to keep my soap down here. Um, or you can store other items. Of course, if you have little ones, you wanna make sure it's out of their reach. Um, but we have our garage locked at all times um, when we're not in the garage with Nolan. So I'm going to go ahead and switch all of this laundry in here. And then another tip of mine, which I will show you shortly, is using soap sheets instead of liquid soap because then I don't have to worry about reaching up here to the soap dispenser and I don't have to worry about liquid detergent getting all over my wheels because I've had that happen so many times. And oh, Duffy, get it! Right there, get it! I dropped the sock, guys. Duffy got it. One of the many benefits of having a service dog. He helps to pick up the things that I constantly drop. For the sake of time in this video, I'll show you guys how when I pull wet things out,
how if I'm putting them in the dryer, they just go in right like this. And then I don't have to worry about bumping into the doors. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you know anybody that would like to contribute videos, please send them our way. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.